Good morning class. This is Ishita ma'am and I am here today not with the teaching learning video or to complete your syllabus but to give you some guidelines to appear for your English online test which is supposed to take place on 12th of June and for your class that is class 9 and 10 the slot is 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. So you are appearing for your first online exam so and what are the kinds of questions that you must prepare for and by now I guess you have all received the syllabus it's there in each of the classes whatsapp group and uh, all are just remember all the chapters which are being done till date are there in the syllabus okay for your exams and till date would refer just in the first week of June okay so all the chapters which are there are included in the syllabus so you all must be ready for the exam your English exam is on 12th of June that is coming Friday and time slot 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. nobody should miss it and everybody should appear for it now I guess you have an idea of what kind of questions and what will be the question type and all such thing. But I uh, specifically would refer to all those. The unique code to appear for the exam will be there in the school website. Before the exam, you'll get it from the school website. The unique code through which you must log in. You'll be logging in through your school ID and after that to appear for the exam, the unique code for the subject is very much necessary. So you'll be getting that from the school website. Okay. And then, uh, so uh, I'll just start with the kinds of things that we will get for the exam. So first the pattern. The pattern, of course, is multiple choice questions. This you know by this time. And the number of questions that you are going to get is 60. 60 questions you'll get and you'll get time is uh, that 60 minutes or one hour. Okay, and each of the question will have four options. Right. So if you uh, can understand here that 60 questions, you are getting 60 minutes. So one minute for each question. So you need to be very fast while doing it, but keeping the patience and all your confidence to appear for the exam. Okay, and remember the questions for English would cover the literature and the grammar portions. We are not keeping your writing part this time because it's not possible to go through the MCQ. So the first uh, exam that we are conducting, we have tried to keep it through to your literature and your grammar syllabus. Okay, uh, for your literature, you know, the chapters, the fun they had is there. The chapter, the little girl, then packing and the sound of music from your beehive book and from the poems you have uh, the road not taken and wind and from your uh, moments book you have the lost child these all are there for the literature part and for the grammar part you have your omission your error correction your gap filling and your sentence reordering gap filling is nothing but the fill in the gaps according to the given options there but this time when you are doing grammar part, we are not being able to give you the whole passage and line by line you'll be uh, solving the errors or you will be finding out the omitted word it's or not at all possible. So I'll show you what kind it will all be coming up. Now, for example, when you start with your thing, you'll be logging and you'll be getting those 60 questions. So one by one, the question will be opening in front of you along with the time slot provided a one minute, okay? And here you will get the questions like this. Suppose here an example from your literature question that the name of the author of the story uh, packing is, okay? And you will, this is the question. And then you will get four options to that. Like here I have given Mulkraj Anand, Robert Frost, Deborah Cowley and Jerome Klapka Jerome. So whatever your correct answer will be, you just need to click it there. Okay. And this is the way you need to solve it. And you need to apply and give your exam in that very way. So the name of the author of the story packing is, of course, here the answer will be option number B. 
again and another example these are the different type questions okay a series of questions like this will be there uh, many students are having a doubt that in english how can we do, how can we do with all this mcq and all so this is the way okay now another type is from like the previous question which i showed is from the source now here when i talk about the detailing of the chapter uh, now see here montmorency thought the lemons to be and you need to find out the answer and the proper option out of these all now i guess you can understand that unless you read the chapter properly in detail you will not be able to answer them properly so montmorency thought the lemons to be cats rats dogs and mice cats rats dogs mice so what will be the answer to this it will be rats and i you can only write it once you read the chapter so this is another kind of the question that might come now another example here see uh, this is a kind of rtc reference to context don't listen to your ears try to sense it some other way name the speaker so the lines quoted from the text and you need to answer to the question that is given so here it's that that don't listen to your ears try to sense it some other way name the speaker so once you get a question like this don't get confused just first remember the name of the text try to find out the name or to try to find out the correct name of the text and there you can get the speaker randomly if you try to find out the speaker you might get confused okay so here uh, if you remember this is from the chapter the sound of music and that's of evelyn green that is part 1 of the chapter and so here it's uh, who is the speaker it's ron forbes it's jim lewis it's george bell and ron russell and your answer will be ron forbes if you remember the percussionist who guided evelyn glini to just uh, spot out her potential so this will be your answer and this is how you are going to solve so these sort of questions are going to come from your uh, books and the literature part and the grammar part where you must appear and again a question like and having perhaps a better claim what is meant by claim here and having perhaps a better claim so this is a part of your poetry section and it's from the road not taken so having perhaps a better claim you need to write the meaning of the word claim so again the question that you were going on asking me that whether word meanings are important or not and i told you that all the word meanings are important for any from any of your chapters from the syllabus so what is meant by claim here so your answer will be out of these four options neglect scatter demand offer neglect scatter demand offer and if you remember and having perhaps a better claim the second road had a better claim so here the answer will be option number c that is demand now again another type that the meaning of the word direct meaning coming out from the chapters the meaning of the word fascinated is you just need to know the meaning and point those out so trample attracted willed and steered so fascinated will be attracted so as uh, seeing the type questions i guess it's all very clear to you that you need to go through the chapters in detail and you will be facing these sort of questions the questions can be from the source the questions can be from anywhere the detailing or from any where from the chapter and then you get to uh, write or to know about the word meanings antonyms vocabulary based questions and also reference to context okay so all these kinds of questions will be coming for your mcq because if you understand it's a 60 marks paper now here are some of the examples from your grammar section now let me just tell you or clear it out from you uh, for you all that 
as I have uh, taught you that editing errors or omission, those all come in passages. And line wise, there is some error or, you know, there's the words which are omitted. And here we cannot provide you with all such passage. So what we have done is we have done it through one particular sentence and we have given gaps which you need to prove it or which you need to uh, write out finding out from the correct option. So all these, though we have done it through ways of uh, gaps or filling the gaps, but then it is, as we have done it through fill up the gaps or fill in the gaps, so there you need to frame the options. So you need to write the options in that very uh, way or find out from those very options. Some of the palaces have been converted into museums. Okay, Some of the palaces have been converted into museums dash libraries. So this can be part of your uh, omitted omission also that here clearly we have given you the place where the words can be omitted and you need to find the correct word that would suit this particular thing. So, but, for, or, so, okay, and you need to find the correct answer out of this. Some of the palaces have been converted into museums or libraries. It is not museums but libraries or museums for libraries or museums so libraries but museums or libraries. So, this is the way you must solve the gaps which are provided. Now, another kind of example that send me letters dash this address. Send me letters dash this address. So here it's an example of gap filling again. There you need to write the correct preposition to locate the correct answer here. So it cannot be send me letters by this address, in this address, or even to this address, but send me letters on this address. So as I told you, you must be very, very particular while giving up your answers. Read the questions properly, read the sentences properly, and then you give your answers and the points there. Now, apart from the gap fillings or apart from those fill in the gaps, what is important here is this the correct order of the sentence. You are also getting questions on sentence reordering. We will be giving the scattered words, okay, the fragments of words and phrases in a disorganized way, not properly arranged, and you need to arrange them and write it in the proper way, okay. The four options are being arranged in four different ways, but you need to write the correct one and your answers to this. So the fragments here, one of the Saudi Arabia largest petroleum producers is world in the off. So these are the words and I need to arrange them. So the first order is Saudi Arabia is one of the largest producers of petroleum in the world. The second option is Saudi Arabia of petroleum is one of the producers largest in the world. The third one, petroleum of Saudi Arabia is in the one world largest producers. And option number four, the largest Saudi Arabia is one of the petroleum producers in the world. Okay, so out of these four options, you need to choose the correct one. So if you read the orders, it's all clear that the rules which I have taught you regarding the sentence reordering, just go through them well for preparing for your exams. And there, if you see that option number A, Saudi Arabia is one of the largest producers of petroleum in the world. This is something that you must uh, think to be the correct one. And of course, option A is the correct answer here. So these are the different type questions which are needed for your exams or uh, you must have an idea. Now, with this, let me again remind you for uh, the poems, the two poem wind and the, the road not taken, the figures of speech, those are also important. Please understand them. Try to uh, look into the videos which we have to, uh, all given you and see to the 
figures of speech or the rhetorical devices used, whether it's a metaphor, a personification or simile, and try to uh, uh, write those out and try to find them out also and uh, prepare those in terms of the two points of your syllabus. Now, the keywords, two words success, okay, or the key towards success. So here, uh, the success is, of course, your online exam. And this is a small thing which you must keep in mind to appear for your first online exam. You can see it's a new class and it's a new syllabus. It's new teachers also. And we are not being, in, uh, you know, in encountering with each other or interacting with each, with each other uh, in a front-to-front -front way. So it's obviously the things that are kind of advice and suggestions which we the teachers would have given you in the class but I thought of giving it here through this video. So the first is reading all the chapters in detail as many times as possible along with the word meanings. This is the only only way out with, through which you can score good marks out of your uh, part. Like reading all the chapters, you must read all the chapters in detail and as many, many times as possible along with the word meanings. Number two is practicing grammar well and trying to solve them as fast as possible. Practicing grammar, of course it's needed and you must give the answer as prompt you, as you can. Okay, it must be given in a very fast way or just in a prompt way so that it saves much of your time. And then you must keep calm and focus while giving the exam. Don't get nervous. Whatever questions come, first read the question properly, see to the options properly, and then apply or appear for your answer. And time management should be given importance. More and more importance should be given to time management. It's not that you know all the 60 questions, but you cannot finish it on time. Then it's of no use. The, but the better thing is when you know the questions, that's good. And then when you complete it on time, this is very, very need, much needed. So uh, all must do well. And uh, don't worry, of course, you'll all be doing well. Just follow the videos and the chapters and read the chapters. And anywhere still, if you find a doubt, just clear it out from me. And it's just my message to all my dear students that best of luck for your first online exam that is on 12th of June, uh, coming Friday. Okay, so uh, all the best wishes. Just, I know you will all be doing good, but uh, it's just a request from our side that you must appear for the exam. Don't just lag out or don't just give excuses that this was the network problem or this and that, but still, uh, I'll just request that please go on appearing for the exam, face the exam so that we know exactly how much the learning outcome is there once through we are going through this online classes. Okay class, so thank you so much and again best of luck.